something about tunnels that's kind of cool. I don't know what it is, but it is cool in here. It's a hot day. I'm gonna do some pier fishing. So um, just enjoy the day. Get the pier rod, get the fly rod too. So we might be doing some of that. And I do not know what's going on. So we're gonna take a look around. It looks like we got a lot of the place to ourselves. So, all right, let's get set up and I'll see what goes on. Ooh, I was just cutting me. Oh, it's a good one too. Oh boy. He's digging in good. It's a good one. That could be the fish of the day. Is he rocking like a bubble? Ooh, ooh, big porgies. Big porgy. Beautiful. Big porgy. I knew they were out there. Oh boy. I got a measure. I was cutting bait too. I wasn't ready for that. Let's see, I have my cooler was open. Let's go mess. Oh yeah. He's a keeper. But, I'll tell you what, we should have been keeping fish today. We're going to have some nice dinner. We start railing them in. I'm going to keep a few. We're going to let them go. That's a beautiful board. I could catch those all day long, close to 12 inch. All right, there you go. We're going to be fishing today with clam and squid baits here on the Robert Moses fishing pier. I'm getting a couple of nice bites out now. A little bit of a rip out there. And I'm walking the bait through. I don't like to keep that bait on the bottom and walk away. I like to search the area, see what's going on, find little dips. See, there's this definitely. There we go. There we go. Let's see what this is all about. Could be a porgy. Oh, we got off. Could he, no, could be a porgy sea bass. It's likely sea bass which is good if those sea bass are down there that means that there's other stuff and the bottom is alive and it's kind of just i think it's kind of still coming up and i'm that's a little bit we're trying to catch every last thing i go a little smaller i'm starting a little big you can see i got big bait on high low rigging checking out the bottom i want to cut my clam on now in smaller size pieces um, kind of see what's going on. We can always go bigger. Still kind of big, still kind of big. But I'm just keeping it a little big. But small enough. Some big, some small. I lined in the water now. And I'm just fishing here. This is the Robert Moses Pier. I have some squids too. Cut some squids. Squid is good, it really stays on that hook. It's got a good scent. Trigger fish. I like cubes. You know, it looks like a mess. Actually, I think this might be cuttlefish. My knife is not too sharp, so you'll have to forgive me. That is all good enough. Nice mess of bait. This fish seemed to be active, so. Cut a little more. Cubes, strips, whatever. This trigger fish, that's what I'm hoping for. For some big porgies. We'll see, the water's still coming up. And I got my rack today. A little bit of a low one, but oh wow, that's a big puffer. That's a big one. Oh cool, that's an eaten size one. We'll bring the cooler. I don't know, maybe we'll keep a few. That's a big one. My pliers. 
I start railing them up and over. I'll we'll keep a couple. Oh boy, look out. Oh. That's a nice uh, pump. Don't bite me. You don't want to get bit by these guys. It's like softball. Down to the bottom. That's what I'm using, the Gamakatsu Octopus number four bait hooks. Uh, I'm gonna stick with these. And you're gonna get them right down below. And, oh, that's another big puffer. I should be keeping these for dinner. I will do that another time. Unless they become insane, these are nice size. They get bigger than that, but. hook on and uh, I tell you what I really love the complex simplicity of, of bait fishing it's uh if you think about it it's a complex simplicity and a lot of people don't realize that and those are your best things in life like a pen reel all right let's get this hook on and uh, see what else is out there. That's it. This is something good. I hope it's one of those big porgies. Let's see if he's bouncing like a robin. Doesn't seem to be. Oh no, I don't want to pump the rod. <gasps> it's a fluke! <gasps> a fluke! That's how it came up like a fluke. I thought he lost it. They kind of glide in. We got a little of everything today. Well, not everything yet, but a lot of things out there. Flounder. Flukes. Cool. Ooh. White. Oh, he was three times as big as him. We got floops, big porgy, big blowfish, lots of sea bass. I don't even have more on there. Um, some clam and squid. And I didn't pay mine what he took, but or something like that. I'm keeping the bait big. This is the rig I'm using. It's the high low rig I got on two ounces. Overhand knot. Surgeon's knot. It's my Gamakatsu size four snell bait hook. Oh about 18, 20 inches. Two my again snell. It's my Gamakatsu bait hook squid and clam. I really don't know what you're going to get fishing like this. And I just want to relax. And I really... It's a nice way to relax. I do have a fly rod. Yeah, just in case. Maybe later. Just enjoying the day. Fishing at the Robert Moses fishing pier. And uh, we'll see. That's a beauty. Whoa! That's a beauty. Wow! What is he? He's filming, please tell me we're filming. Oh, he's coming out. Wow, what the heck is this? I just, oh, it's a keeper fluke. No, huge trigger fish. Big trigger. Wow. Wow. Look at him lunge. Get him up. Whoa. Big porgies, big trigger. Whoa! We should have kept some fish today, but we're gonna let him go. Oh, he is full. Oh, you don't want to get your hand snapped in there. That is a beautiful trigger. Beautiful fish. Wow! He is stopped. 
We'd have had a nice dinner today. That was fantastic. Oh boy. Oh man. Don't know if we're gonna leave him to cover. Let's get him on this way. Go buddy. Thank you. Oh. And I did remember my rag. <laughs> Usually I forget the, the rag and I get all kinds of clams and guts on my pants. But I'm uh, just having fun, fun fishing, pier fishing here at the Robert Moses Fishing Pier. I think that's another big puffer. Oh man. Maybe we'll start keeping them. Don't bite the tip of your finger off. Working with the high low rig, clam and squid. So I'm consistently taking note if they're hitting the bottom more, top more, squid more, clam more. They seem to be bottom and they seem to be liking clam and squid about the same. I can't figure that out. I think that bottom hook is your most important hook. Other times that top's going to be your uh, important hook. So much action. I don't think it matters. Okay, that's another one. Oh boy, there's gotta be a big trigger. Oh boy, I think he's bigger. Oh man, he got his cord on the bottom. Boy, this is a tough pickle. How cord is he? All right, I'm gonna give him some slack. Could be something small wrapped around. Maybe it'll swing out. It's a stargazer. Oh wait, it's out, it's out. Oh, we got him out. We got him out. I saw an asshole. Oh boy. What is he? We got him out of the wreck. Oh my god, it's a big rock. We got him out. Oh boy. <laughs> he gave us a good fight, that is for sure. That's as good as they get. <laughs> Pulled him out. I gotta drop a sinker on here. Drop a hook up there and we're ready to go. Keep in mind with these hooks, those smaller hooks, these aren't stout ones. These aren't three X's. You use the regular size hooks, the one X ones, this size. So make sure your drag has a little slip in it. Just a little, because those hooks will bend out if you have too much pressure on your line. But the action seems to be back on. It's just great. Just relaxing, fun pier fishing here at the Robert Moses. Fish in here. That's a little bit bigger sea bass. I don't even know how big these things have to be. Something like 18 inches or 19, I don't know. But, ooh, he put that good. Oh, boop around. It's all right. Get some more clam. Sometimes when you're fishing, you're thinking about, I'm thinking about the fishing that I'm going to do. And sometimes when you're fishing, you're thinking about the fishing you're doing. This is why I kind of like this. I kind of stand here, relax, think, and think about fishing. 
and I'm doing the fishing. But you can also do the fishing and think about the fishing. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but I think that, you know. We got a little, oh, he's got some pole for him. Don't surprise me. Wow, whoa, whoa, oh, it's a fluke. It's a fluke. It's a good fluke, too. Let's get him up. Maybe the wolf can come off. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> See, they often come on. These hooks are great. I love the monofilament line when I'm fishing like this, just because if I break off, I'm just retying right up the line forever. And I don't have to fumble around with leader. There's a bait bird over there. I don't have to fumble around with leader. Um, just tie the, tie the rig straight through. That's why I go with, always go with, try to go with the monofilament line with bait fishing like this. Uh, it just makes sense, it's just easier. The water's starting to move now. Well, bait's getting hit now, probably snappers. Snappers hitting them. And there's plenty of these here, plenty of these here small sea bass. A little bit of everything today, everything. Fluke, big porgy. Big trigger fish, all the sea bass you want. 90s keep, keep big uh, blowfish. Um, I don't know if I left anything out. I'm surprised we didn't get any kingfish, but they're, they're out there. In nighttime, you're going to get a whole new condition set, too, which is going to be turning soon. So. He just nailed that. That's a good fish. Robin. Let's see what he is all about. Coming in now. Let's see what he is. He's really big. That is one of those big robins. Wow. So I'm going to be getting out of here. Just an amazing vacation. We got big sea robins, of course. Big sea robins. Fluke. Big trigger fish. Big corgi. Big pupper fish. Big float fish. All the sea bass you want. Little tiny snappers running around. Just a great day here for Robert Moses fishing here. Thanks for watching. <laughs>